just under a year ago, I was pretty bored with my life and I went to this two day event by this company called Mind Valley, and it was incredible. I actually learned quite a bit in two days. So incredible that I ended up following them on social media and kind of getting some articles and program. And then I saw this ad for a month long program in Barcelona called Mind Valley University. And the first thing that went to my head is that's a really long time. The second thing that went to my head is who else can go to something like this? And the third thing that went to my head was absolutely I have to go. What I didn't expect is I started putting out videos right in the beginning and everyone loved them so much that Vision, the CEO of Mind Valley, ended up reaching out to me and we ended up doing a bunch of cool projects together. And at the end of it all, I reached out to Vision. I was like, hey, if this was so cool and next year's in Estonia, why don't you fly me out to Estonia and I'll make a cool video telling everybody what it's like. And he said, yes. Immersion really is the key to changing your life, gaining new experiences, skill sets, and I felt like anyone who was willing to move to Barcelona for an entire month to bring their families out, everyone I met was just killing it in their field or taking a huge risk to change their life dramatically. As my friend Clement would say, it's like training and being friends with a bunch of Yodas. My first two days in Estonia, I went straight into nature to go explore a waterfall and a bog. Super good news, they use Uber here. Really excited, we're gonna be touring the whole city with a couple Mind Valley U people that I met last month in Barcelona. And here they are right now. What's up? Hey, hey, hey. What up, get it? Let's get it. to be here when you come next year it's just amazing doing yoga out here workshops out here maybe doing an adventure filmmaking workshop out here where I can take you guys out for a day we'll make amazing stuff <laughs> There's a few things I would have loved to know before getting to Barcelona for Mind Valley University 2017 that hopefully I can clear up for you guys going into 2018. Where to eat if you're a healthy person. Tallinn is going to be a dreamland. It is incredible. Almost every restaurant has their menus marked for lactose-free, gluten-free, vegan, and sometimes, if you're lucky, paleo items. I also found bulletproof coffee at multiple locations and there's just so much health consciousness in the area. It's really, really easy to eat healthy where it was very tough in Barcelona. As far as where to stay, there's three main areas that I'm gonna show you guys in the rest of this video. One is the old town of Tallinn where it's been maintained a 12th or a 13th century castle surrounded by the original castle walls that they have completely maintained where you can even eat coffee in one of the balconies where the archers used to shoot at people.
This is the church where we got married. We're walking down the street and there are these stone tablets that go back to 1385. And it's got this amazing, beautiful, old school architecture. Again, it's Talan, right? They've just preserved everything so well. There's also an area called Rotermani, which is a little bit newer area just outside of Old Town where the movie theater we went to was and a lot of amazing restaurants, including Tai Bo, where I had the best green curry of my life. About to leave. Already packed. We're in this area called Rotomani. It's one of the hip upcoming neighborhoods in Tallinn. Pan the camera, show people what's going on here. It was a legacy from the Soviet era. And then when Estonia gained its independence, Estonians are such incredibly creative people. They turned this gray factory zone into one of the most lively neighborhoods in Tallinn. Action, what we can be. And then there's also the area called Teliskivi. And it's where you're going to find a lot of the cool coffee shops, a lot of the younger people. Guys, there's public ping pong tables. Even their parking garages are medieval and preserved. 90% chance that this building that you can't see quite yet is going to be the host of Tallinn 2018 Mind Valley University. We can't really get closer because there's a big European Parliament thing going on in there. The city has so much to explore, but it's only a 20 minute walk from one end of the main city to the other end of the main city. So public transportation really doesn't become an issue because it's so densely packed together. Because it's so dense, there's so many things to explore in the city. And I'm gonna put a bunch of clips behind this of all the crazy extra footage that I just thought was beautiful that I wanted to show you guys. And there's just so much to do and explore that I'm gonna have to make more videos about that. Special bonus I feel like I should tell you guys about, I just walked by an open museum exhibit for old KGB prison cells. I'm not going to go in there, but you can when you're here. Mind Valley University in Barcelona changed my entire life and I feel like lots of people need to be exposed to programs like this and something that's an immersion program where, like I said, people are willing to move for a month. I mean, you're gonna run into a bunch of really interesting, very aggressive people who are trying to get the most out of their lives. It is above and beyond any program I've ever taken simply because it's a month where you can really start to apply the things that you're learning in your life and you're surrounded by a culture of everyone trying to do the same thing and they're just insanely supportive. So I'm so excited for next year and I can't wait to meet more of the tribe in person. Yeah.